My name is Eric Clemenzi and uh, I'm a guitarist out of Haverhill, Massachusetts. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, TC electronic uh, pedal line, uh, the tone print stuff and a couple of the distortion pedals uh, that they offer. And uh, I'm just going to kind of go through my rig and show you um, what I use their pedals for and uh, explain some of the benefits they provide for uh, playing live and you know, studio stuff, that kind of thing. So uh, here we go. All right, my pedal board begins with the Polytune. Uh, my guitar cord runs right into it, and this is real handy for on-stage stuff because I can just, uh, with a click of a button, I can use it as a kill switch to um, if I want to change guitars. So that's kind of um, benefit number one of having a tuning pedal. Um, now the Polytune, the great thing is I can strum all six strings, and it will register all six at once. So if I have to, you know, do a real quick tune in the, uh, you know, uh, between songs, uh, it's very easy to do. And also, if you check out my guitar here. I have a seven string on it, and when I first got the Polytune, I was like, you know, how is this going to actually work? And uh, the great thing is the Polytune will register individual strings in an instant. So you can just pluck your low B string if you have a, a seven string guitar, and it will instantly recognize that note. And um, I've had zero issues with the tuner in terms of accuracy, whether or not I'm strumming the six strings or if I'm doing each one individually. It's very, very handy. Now, right now, um, I've got the Polytune off and all the other pedals in my rig off. Uh, so we're going to check out the Mojo Mojo pedal. What I have this set up for is um, more of a bluesy kind of vibe. And, um, you know, what it, what it does is I've got the treble kind of cranked. I've got the bass rolled back a little bit. And that's one thing I love about the Mojo Mojo and the Dark Matter Distortion is that you have individual treble and bass. Most distortion pedals, um, you know, it's kind of traditional stuff, offer just a tone knob. The great thing is I can kind of tweak how I want them to sound uh, in the treble and the bass range. A lot of times the mid-range is, you know, why you might buy a pedal. Um, or maybe you have a certain mid-range setting on your amp. The treble and the bass, though, I, I find I like to adjust. Um, I have, uh, like, a moderate amount of distortion on here. If I kick it in... And I'm using the neck pickup right now, and I love how I can tweak the treble on this. And you can just get a really nice neck pickup tone. Um, you know, again, rolling off the distortion. It's not like monster distortion. And it's nice if I go to the bridge pickup. I can get some really cool uh, chord sounds where the notes aren't muddy at all. Um, you know, so it's kind of got a nice moderate sound. And again, you could crank this up if you want and get something a little bit different. But for, for my purposes on this pedal board, it's great for that moderate distortion sound. All right, next up is the Dark Matter Distortion pedal. This one has the gain cranked all the way. And uh, the, the treble is rolled back a bit on this one because it, it focuses more on my lead sound. Um, and, you know, I just really like how it works with my amp and the guitar and everything. Um, so, again, more saturation. Uh, it's really great for cutting through and just kind of giving it a boost. And I have the Mojo Mojo set a little bit lower and the Dark Matter set a little bit higher. So here's how the Dark Matter sounds. <laughs> You know, it's got a really nice smooth tone to it, and that's why I like it, you know, and it's, uh, I can even use it for cording as well. And it's, and it really sounds nice, and, you know, if you roll back the volume knob, it works really uh, very naturally as well, uh, just like a tube amp would. So I, I'm really psyched about the sound of the dark matter. All right, next up on the board is the Corona Chorus. And um, one thing I'm really liking about this is just all the parameters that you can tweak. Now, this is a tone print pedal, so you can go in and, um, you know, get some different artists, to, uh, artist presets on their website. And the cool thing is, I mean, I, one of the reasons that I initially went and checked out these pedals is because of that feature and I was like wow that's cool you know if I want Guthrie Govan's um, chorus settings I can just go get it that's so cool but um, 
because they're so easy to use and so versatile, I've just been able to tweak the knobs and get a great sound instantly. So this one, I have set for a real subtle chorus, and I like the fact that there's an, an effects level control. Uh, depending on the chorus pedal you buy, sometimes there's only a couple of knobs. And uh, this has, um, you got the speed knob, you got the depth knob, and you have a tone knob, and that's nice too, because I can just kind of tweak the, the sound and get it to fit with the whole rig. So, here's just a little recording of that. Alright, next up is the flashback delay. Now, one thing I have in my pedal board setup is I have the first four pedals. These run straight into the amp, and I just like the, the way that the distortions mesh with the, uh, the chorus and everything. So I have that run straight through the guitar into the input of the amp. These two pedals, uh, the flashback and the Hall of Fame, are both in my effects loop. And um, I love the, um, the flashback. And again, this is one of the first pedals that I heard about. Um, when I started checking out the tone print line of the TC Electronic stuff, um, I saw Steve Morse using it, and Steve Morse being one of my favorite players, I said, I gotta try this. And um, initially I was like, I wanna try his tone print. And again, I got such great sounds straight out of the box that I haven't even had a chance to do it because I really just love the, um, let's see what am I using right now? I'm using the tape, I'm kinda stuck on that one right now, and uh, the tape uh, preset. And there's a whole ton of presets on here. It would take me forever to go through, and eventually I will probably put a video up going through a bunch more. But here's the flashback. Um, and I just really like the, uh, I guess it kind of rolls off a little bit of the high end. And it really meshes well with the amp. So I've just, again, got it set pretty subtle. And when I kick on the distortion later, you'll hear it kind of come up a little bit. But I love this sound for chords. The final pedal in my current setup is the Hall of Fame Reverb. And um, most amps do come with reverb. But uh, one of the great things about having a pedal is that I can turn it off, on and off uh, in the middle of a performance. Because sometimes if I got my heavy distortion on and I'm doing a tight kind of rhythm sound, um, I might not want that reverb coming in. And some amps, uh, the amp that I'm currently plugged into does not have a foot switchable reverb. So this is great because I can turn it on and off you know, in the, in the middle of a show or in the middle of a song and get the exact sound that I want. Um, now right now, let's see, I've got the hall setting on this one. And uh, again, there's a tone knob so I can roll off a little of the treble just so it can kind of blend in a little more. And I really like this um, effect on clean chords. Just really adds a nice uh, bit of warmth to the sound and you know it makes you feel like you're in a room even if you're in a very small room um, and uh, you know again it's just very versatile there's tons of presets on here way too many to go through right now but um, again very versatile for um, pretty much any style of music as a way to conclude the video I'd like to just show you what I'm using for my overall lead sound we've got the Hall of Fame reverb and the flashback delay on in a loop and then I've got the Corona Chorus on, as well as the Dark Matter Distortion. And um, I just really feel like all these pedals work very well together and allow me to run into just about any amp and get a very consistent sound. So here's a little, uh, just a little sample of all those pedals together. <laughs>